Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling. And we've been working in this journeys theme, oh. doing some fun things, and we're gonna do this. It's a it's called scrape and swivel. Oh, like the bend and snap. So we're do we do a little scrape techniques here, but then we got this swivel. Oh, what? <laughs> so we achieved that with this little bread. I'm gonna tell you more about our supplies in a minute, but that's what we're making. Bread, just tying us all together. <laughs> Keenan, yes. <laughs> thank you for being here. You're welcome. <laughs> He's our camera guy and our art cheerleader. You yes, know? I'm here to art cheerlead. Um, so yeah, so this is Scrape and Swivel and we are going to have a good time. I'm gonna tell you about the supplies and then um, a little about our prompt, like, you know, what we're thinking about while we're making this and then we'll get, we'll get going. So the supplies we're gonna use today is this little magic brad and if you're a subscriber to our subscription box, then you may have this. If not, these are pretty readily available, you know. And um, we're going to use this large tag today. Okay, okay. You know, it's going to take up our whole journal page, which is exciting. And we're going to use um, Dina Wakely uh, Mixed Media Acrylic Paint Lemon, Magenta, Ocean. Mm. We're going to use some gesso for texture. We're gonna have some collage paper that we're gonna do on here. And I've already cut out of my collage paper, but this is what the rest of it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got this cool little suitcase we're gonna cut out and some textures there. And then, um, let's see. So to cut that out, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife. We're also gonna paste it down with some Yes Paste. And we're gonna use a palette knife for that. We're gonna probably use our round A brush. Maybe, if you wanna get crazy, you could use Mavis. This is a half inch oval mop brush. Okay, did I get all the supplies? Sounded oh, good. Oh yeah, we're gonna use this for the gesso too. So mm. if you have more than one um, palette knife that you wanna use to try different techniques or whatever, you could do that. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna work or scrape it, which is gonna be fun. Um, I think that's all, okay. And you know, of course your journal, we're gonna need that. Oh, here's my other one. I knew I had two. That's not necessary, but if you want to have two, that's great. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> um, the prompt that we're going to do is called baggage claim. I'm really excited about this prompt. It says, although we may have some leftover baggage from previous journeys, moving forward, we can decide what we want to pack for the future. What do you want to carry with you on your future journey? What feeling do you want more of? Try listing the contents of your bag on a tag and incorporate it in your journal. I just love that because sometimes when you think baggage or, oh, she's got a lot of baggage, you know, it's got like kind of a negative connotation. And I thought that we could give it a spin and have it be a positive one. Like, you know, right when you're getting to your destination and maybe you're at the airport or whatever and you go to get your baggage and you're claiming it. I mean, that's kind of exciting. You're like getting your stuff and you're on your way, you know? I've got fresh socks in this bag. <laughs> yeah, everything's clean and <laughs> just ready to go. So yeah, you're prepared. And so I like the idea of kind of spinning that idea. So the other thing that I like to do, if you're new here, we like to mix prompts and techniques to create projects and just, you know, there's no rules here. You don't have to do everything that I'm doing uh, or in the way that I'm doing it. If you like the technique, but you know, the prompts a little not like resonating with you, that's fine. Do pick and choose whatever you want, mix and match however you want to. Yeah, this is a create. lawless land. Yes. And there's no rules here. Yeah. It's, it's like the wild like, west of art. <laughs> if you think that's cool, just do that thing. That's cool. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> Um, all right, so the other thing that I like to do is just like set an intention. Sometimes I get really excited, I start talking really fast, and I'm thinking about what the outcome is gonna be, and then I get all stressed out. So I don't want anybody to be stressed here. Okay. So we're gonna take a deep breath, you ready? Roll our shoulders maybe. I mean, make it be a deep breath, and then I wanna hear it like coming out, like and like whatever else you got going on today, just let it be over there for now. Right now we're here making some mindful art, right? Right. <laughs> Thanks, I know it's, it feels weird to do, but I'm glad that you did it. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna use this journal clip to hold my paper down. And we are gonna start with the texture. Um, so we're gonna use some gesso. That's what we're gonna do first. Um, ooh, actually, no. We're gonna paint first, then we're gonna scrape. Oh snap. We're gonna put some magenta. I don't know how to remember what I did there. Good catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can always 
you can just keep layering paint. There's no that's true. No worries, okay. but okay. Yeah, no laws, no rules. Wild art journal land. Wild art <laughs> journal land coming soon <laughs> to theaters near you. Da, da, da. Okay, so Ocean Magenta makes this just really nice purple chamonte right now. So we're just gonna put that down on our page. And if you want, you could get Mavis out. She's thirsty. She want she wants to play. So let's get Mavis out. We're just gonna put some paint on our paper. And if you've been doing the textures on the other projects before this, you'll notice that you know the paper soaks up the paint differently than having it on top of gesso. But we're gonna do paint first and then gesso, the opposite of what we've been doing on our other projects this month. That's a really pretty color. I'm into it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Sorry I didn't sound so shocked by how much I like that color. But You're like, I mean, typically Jesse <laughs> is just doing mediocre colors, but this time really I nailed never it. said that. <laughs> And you know, you can mix a little more ocean to get a darker purple and kind of do like a little ombre if you want. Or you can really lean into the magenta. It's up to you. This is your journal. We do whatever you want. I want you to feel free. I really value freedom. It's like one of those things I'm very motivated by. So I just want everyone to feel free. Oh, I like that. <laughs> You know, you take those like personality tests. It's like all the things that make you feel free. I click on that. <laughs> and then they're like, you really value freedom. I'm like, yeah. That's true. It's kind of a thing. I don't, I don't want anybody to tell me what to do. Yeah. Let me do my own thing. <laughs> Authority. <psh. laughs> no. Authority what? <laughs> you know. What is, what is that even? A, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay. Now I want to, I want to, I want some more magenta on this side. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go heavy on the magenta here. I'm trying to, I got a lot of that turquoise in my brush, so still kind of turning out purple. More magenta. It looks good though. There we go. Mmm, that's nice. Thanks. Well, a little bit on that other page, but it's all right. That's what the page lives for, you know? It lives for paint. I think I've talked about this before, but I've listened to this podcast, um, Everything is Alive, and it's just like if like an object was alive and it had a narrative, it just tells a story. Like one of them was like a, a, a bus bench seat that told the story. Like <laughs> just really was excited when people picked that seat to sit on. That's amazing. And there's, it was just so funny. And it always makes me think like about objects and what their story would be after that for some reason. I love it. That brings a whole new look at like restoring things, like mm -hmm. giving them life back to their, their purpose. Yeah, I was, um, I took a little artist date for myself to go to an antique store in town. And I was talking to the guy who owns the store and he just, he's looking at buying this old dilapidated house that's gonna need a lot of work, but he's just so excited for it to be returned to its greater glory. Dang, that's so cool. And he was just lit up when he talked about it, you know? And he was like, oh yeah, these little shingles like on there, like I forget what kind of, he had a technical term for it and I don't remember, but it has a big old wraparound porch and. Just a beautiful house. Yeah, that's it cool. sounded, but he was like, there's so many problems. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a lot of work. I was like, well, it takes somebody who values that and has a vision to go for that. Like not everybody's gonna be signing up for that house. That's true. But what a joy it will be to see that come together. Yeah, and that really... house has some current baggage that it's not too excited about, but it's future <laughs> baggage it's gonna get is, uh, it's pretty stoked. Okay, so if you were to list your house's baggage claim, yeah. what would be in there that you want your house to be able to be like, I have this now? <laughs> okay, character, space, Ooh. interesting layout, well, we'll say unique. You know, it's a unique layout. It's seen things. It's been changed several times. Yeah. Its to accommodate different families. Yeah, throughout its needs, 140 maybe. years of life. Yeah, it can accommodate several things. My house will be very proud of its location. It's very close to a park and schools, you know. Some happy memories made around those 
yeah. streets and trees. Yeah. I mean, isn't it cool to personify your house in that yeah, way? I, I mean, I think that. it's so fun. <laughs> All right, this is almost dry. I did have a big old paint glob right there that's like taking a little bit longer to dry. I think it's important though when it, when it comes to baggage to note that yes, we should look. So I'm I, okay. I don't know how to describe this very well, but I'm gonna try. Okay. We should. I, I'm gonna try and look at any kind of baggage as a positive because without it, we wouldn't be who we are today. That's true. And so I think if it's considered negative baggage, it could be viewed as something that we used to learn from and to teach others. Okay, this technique for the gesso, yes. I like what you're saying. Thank but you. But I, I, I knew that I don't want to just start doing this without explaining what yes, I'm doing. Yes, good call, good call. Um, you could use a credit card if you don't have a palette knife, but the scrapey edge is kind of like what we're going for here. So you're going to scrape the gesso down over the top of the page. Um, you could also use a tag, like an extra tag. So oh, I'll, oh, that'd be cool. Like, you know, you could do it like this or you can use your whatever. So let's put some gesso at the top here and you can scrape it down with your palette knife. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. It's kind of just a cool effect. Or you could, let's put some right here. You could use a tag to do the same thing. So whatever you got around. I just want you to know, like, if you don't have everything, you can still achieve this somehow. I'm just going to go ahead and use this because it's easier like for that. me. That's cool. So this is the scrape part of the scrape and swivel <laughs> <laughs> that I was describing. Scrape and swivel. Yeah. First we will scrape, then we will swivel. It feels like a dance. I don't know what that would look like in dance. But. And we're starting in four, three, two, one, <laughs> and go. Scrape and swivel. Scrape and swivel. It's like a like an exercise now. Yeah. And up and down and scrape and swivel. <laughs> I like it. All right. Yeah. So whoa. <laughs> You got excited. Oh, yeah. You are now, I clicked and you this know, is why happening? Jesse doesn't do group exercise <laughs> classes because <laughs> stuff like that happens. That was excellent. Good work. <laughs> I just flipped my clip flipped in my gesso. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's seen some gesso. It's fine. And I gave our, the cool thing about this scrape technique is it dries really fast because it's super thin oh, but I'll just true. hit it really fast just to make sure that clip was thinking this is not my intended purpose <laughs> I'm out of here it's not meant to fly <laughs> I don't know why the clip sounds so stuck up I'm so sorry he just is you know <laughs> okay so you're reminding me of something with yoga um okay we're gonna put just I want a big tag now and we're just gonna do it how we've been doing it before so um then I can tell you this story all right um, so one of the things that I want to claim as far as baggage claim is better health. I feel like some of my journeys that I've been on have led to a little bit of a higher blood pressure and stress in my life. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I want to claim good health. And by doing that, setting that intention kind of, you know, I've been thinking about what I could do. And yoga is one of the things I've been trying to mm. do more of. And so I was actually doing yoga last night with some friends. Nice. And there's this one where you're like, you start out on your hands and your feet and your, you know, back is like that kind of thing. And then they're like, okay, now stick out one, you know, lift one leg and lift it up high. Like, you know, you're, you're going to fly. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel like I'm flying right now. I feel like I'm going to, I'm dying right now. Like, I, <laughs> is this supposed to feel like free? Cause it's just, I don't, you know, that I'm sure with practice, I want to fly. It so. will improve. But I feel like that clip, you know, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. It's not my I purpose would. here. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That just made me think about it immediately. It was like so that funny. little yoga. <laughs> I'm feeling really silly today, y'all. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Good. It's welcome. This is lawless land. We can feel however we want. Okay, so I'm just slapping down some gesso here. Maybe I'll do a little kind of... So I'm going to do more textures and tags on our lawn yap. So we'll... We'll have a lot of fun exploring that even more if you enjoy doing this. All right, let's see. All right, feeling good about that. Let's hit that with this.
Okay, that's looking more dry. And we'll let it dry even more while we cut out some collage paper. So we've got this cool suitcase and this little bit of paper and then this, and we also have this. Now the other, other um, tutorial, I don't know, I think I filmed these out of order, so. <laughs> but we cut this little bit here, but you still have this whole page there to use. And um, we cut the gray bottom off of this, but we still have that right there to use. So we're gonna cut that out. And get crazy here. All right. So you can use a ruler if you wanna keep your edges straight or you can just be wild and free. It's up to you. I'm just gonna use this to cut. Our little black baggage claim tag. And if you didn't catch it, it's like right under the tag when you swivel it all, all the way up. I'll show you where I put it. I've got some glue on my cutting mat. So you really probably shouldn't use your cutting mat for everything. Your cutting experience will probably be better if you washed it more often than I do. Maybe. Yeah. That's not a guaranteed thing. Part of the experience is having the previous experience remaining, you know? Mm. Yeah. Well, I just have a lot of stuff on here. Matt has some baggage. We're not judging. <laughs> it could be easily remedied if I just cleaned it. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I got that. And actually, I wonder if multiple mats <laughs> really prolong my need to wash things. <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna hand trim this, and this blade is just needing to be adjusted a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, I'll try to keep my head out of here, but I'm just, I'm just gonna cut right inside the line. So instead of cutting right on the line between the suitcase and the background, I'm gonna cut a little bit inside. That way, I don't have to worry about any of the lighter colors showing after I'm done cutting it. If that makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, so we got our baggage claim. We need our words that say leave your fear behind, which I love so much. I think, you know, just general fear keeps us from doing a lot of good things, like, or things that would help us grow. Absolutely. Fear can be paralyzing. I mean, there's, there's good fear, you know, that's protecting us from, some, from a threat, like a bear <laughs> or something. And then there's, you know, just stuff we think too hard about probably. It kind of feels the same in our body if you have anxiety, which I do have a little bit of sometimes. So this is a good reminder for me for those kind of situations. And I like the way that it stacks. It said, leave your fear and then behind you. So I'm gonna cut that right in the middle here. And then um, just because there's more, less space on that side, I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here. A little bit there. Okay, it's gathering all our little elements. So we got our that and that, and we need the yellow, which that little bit of yellow, I think I cut it to right about here. I really try to utilize with the gouache paper the best I can. How do you think you leave your fear behind? I do it anyway. I don't stop being scared. Like, I'm still scared, but I do it anyway. So maybe is it understanding your fear versus getting rid of your fear? Yeah, it's like, okay, I mean, there, I mean there's good things to be cautious about, right? Like, I got in a car wreck, and I've been a little nervous about driving since that happened, but I don't wanna not drive. 
like because well, that happened because then i'm missing out on yeah. places i could go things i could be doing and sometimes you can't you, you gotta get to places yeah so knowing that kind of feels scary in my body but i need to do it anyway is leaving that fear behind for sure it's a hard thing to do it is it is it is okay so get that I was just trying to remember, did I put this down before I painted it? Yeah. Okay, so let's glue that on first. Sorry, I had to think about what I was doing. It doesn't matter either way, but just, just look. All right. I'm gonna put a big old glob of that yes paste on there. And then smooth it around until it's like a thin layer. So I put entirely too much on there. Which is fine because we're just going to scrape most of it off. I just like knowing that I got the yes paste everywhere I needed it. And I'm going to put it about this far down from the bottom. So just right there. Right there. And I'll trim the sides off. I just love yes paste because you can kind of move it manipulate it still and then because my other fingers are sticky I'm using my other hands here other hands other <laughs> fingers how many other hands do you have just you know every now and then that's nice <laughs> I have a helping hand uh, okay so let's trim off this now that'll be easier I'm gonna use my ruler on the edge of this tag trim that Flip it and do the same on the other side. Uh oh, dropped my palette knife. Whoop. It's all kinds of stuff stuck to that. Let's get that cleaner. We have this really cool textured rug down there that has fibers and it all stuck to my palette knife. Really cool textured rug. All right. Well, you don't think it's cool? I think it collects trash easier than any other rug I've ever seen. But it has a cool texture. It's kind of like a rope texture. It is rope texture, yeah. Like that kind of fiber. All right. Okay, so now we can mix. Let's wash these brushes off. Not a good idea to leave paint on your brushes that long. I mean, it's okay. But we haven't been doing it that long. But So let's use some ocean and yellow to get kind of a blue green, which I'm into right now. So we'll paint this and add our collage elements. And then we'll use that brad to do the swivel. And then we also are gonna put a little collage elements on the other page. So we've got a little bit more to go here. So I'm liking this color right here. So add a little bit here and there and well, like we pretty green yeah. excuse me that's a pretty green thanks I'm liking it oh but you can change it <laughs> <laughs> well if that's too intense you can kind of come in here and add a little water now it's going to stay more of that color on the paper than on the gesso where it's picking up you know mm -hmm. and like i've shown you in some of these other projects if you want to wipe it back then you can do that too. And that's what Keenan meant about me taking away what he just said he liked. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the idea of some of this paint coming across here. And you could even have some gesso on there over the collage paper to kind of have more of a blending effect too. So let's just do make a little Kind of window around it with collage and gesso. And that's kind of cool. Oh, that is cool. So that kind of gives us a nice place for that other stuff to s sit. Matter of fact, 
Let's just leave that to dry while we work on the other spot. Well, we can put a little more green down here, I think. we we'll wait for that. Wipe away some of that. Yeah, that's looking cool. So we'll let that dry. Now, if you get that collage paper on there and then you wet it again, because that um, yes paste is water soluble, it might come back up. So you just want to be careful of that. So. So we'll let that dry for a second and we'll jump back to this part. So under the swivel, we got this little baggage claim in this area for some journaling. So we're gonna cut that paper out. And if you use your collage paper differently and you're like, oh, I don't have that now because you did something fun in another project, that's okay. You can use whatever you want for journaling. It's no big deal. I like the idea of us having a torn edge, so I'm gonna tear it. Controlled tear. I have chaotic tears. <laughs> well, if you pull towards you, you'll have that white edge, and if you pull away from you, you won't. So I don't know if that helps you have more control, control in your tearing, but it's a thing. Got that. Bring this back on over here. We'll put this down about, you know, that far up there. I think that looks good. Right in there. That does look good. It's a good contrast with the textures and stuff. Totally. I love that pink part on that lined paper. Yeah, it all works together, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I just love that you noticed that. Thank you. Well, you know. Keenan is a noticer. I'm a noticer. Oh, old Keenan, the noticer. That was my <laughs> nickname in high school. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> you didn't go to high school. <laughs> Everybody's going to call you on that. Uh, he did homeschool. That's what I was saying. It's true. They're like, a, what? You didn't a, go to high school? I was a cool kid. You know, I dropped out of school. No, you didn't. <laughs> Jesse. So I'm trying to be a hardcore. Cool. You're a noticer. You care <laughs> about people and you notice things. That's Just true. Just be who you're, you are, Keenan. You know, yes. It's great. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Proceeding. Okay. So I'll just stick that down. Oh, yeah. See, I love how that works together. Let's see if our clip is ready to do its job that it was intended to do instead of swimming in gesso. <laughs> okay. So. While we're waiting for this one to dry, we can do a little slit. So I'm gonna show you on the back here. Your, your uh, brad is gonna show through on this, but you could totally cover that up with collage paper if you want. But I just cut a little slit for these guys to come through. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. I just wanted to show you before we started. And what I did was I just lined up my tag where I wanted, drew a little circle, and then oh, nice. I had it where I wanted it. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this down right over my journal page so it's not showing, so you can line it up however you got your page on there. And then, I thought I had a pencil somewhere. Got a pen, that'll work. Just draw your little circle where your tag is. And then that is where we're gonna cut the slit. You know? You know. But you're gonna wanna I don't know why I have to Rotate mats cutting mats? Well, no. <laughs> Just you don't want to put your cutting mat under your page so you don't cut the next page. Oh. Got it. So I'm just going to cut a little cross in there. You can do it however you want. But I'm like, that'll work. Okay, so we got that going on. Now let's see about our tag. Let's finish this up and we'll, we'll have it. Okay, so that's going to go there. 
And this is going to go there and there. And I just want to have a little bit more continuous green over that gesso that we were waiting for it to dry. So let's do that. I love that that little suitcase just looks like a little suitcase that's popping out of the desk and table. <laughs> just suitcase like, looks like a suitcase? <laughs> yeah, it just looks like a little suitcase just waiting to get picked up. Just waiting for you to claim me. I'm just waiting for like a little leprechaun to pop out of this somewhere. And just Are you thinking it. of leprechauns because I'm doing green? Yes. like it. I'm going to do it a little bit. Just a little bit of less warmer yellow down here to talk back to that yellow gouache paper. Just, you know, right in here maybe. Little touches. And just do a little more blending. Yeah, that's nice. Thanks. And then if you think Goodness, I think you did a little too much. You can always wipe back a little here and there. Just whatever you want. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. This is cool. Just want to make sure this is nice and dry. So when I put my water soluble paste on there, it doesn't move. And this this um, heat gun I'm loving it because like it doesn't blow my stuff across the way it's not so powerful that it's gonna like take everything that I have carefully cut for my collage across the room it fits right in with our calm demeanor for painting for it fits art. right in what it fits right in with our calm demeanor for art yeah and it's so small I love to just like throw it in one of my art bins and go, and I don't have to worry about carrying it separate. I just love that heat gun. Okay. It is nice. Now I'm doing the same thing, just putting a glob on the suitcase, but I'm gonna scrape it over that handle real careful. So I've got glue on my board, but I know that I got glue on that handle, so it'll stick down and stay over time, which is what I want it to do. Then I'm just gonna put it right there. Kind of like the idea of it kind of centered with the hole of the tag, but you could also turn it a different direction. Whoop. And yeah, whenever you're cutting these tiny little things out, it's easy to damage it like I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't, that's nice. fine. Good save. <laughs> yeah, that handle wanted to pop off. It was like, hey, things are getting heavy. I don't think you know what you're doing. I'm a I'm a suitcase. You need to carry me places. <laughs> Not glue me down. Yeah, there's no there's no rollers on this suitcase. This is like the old school carry it. Yes. There's actually a typewriter in there. Technology of suitcases have come a long way, don't you think? Uh, I'm pretty sure there are suitcases you can ride on. So yes. Oh yeah, my one of my kids has one. It's like a, it looks like a ladybug. Oh, that'd be incredible. I want one of those. <laughs> I don't think you can fit all your stuff in it. It's like for little people's clothes. I mean, uh, maybe you're really good at packing light because of the military. Maybe you could put all your stuff in a ladybug suitcase. I would love to see you show up for deployment with one of those. I'll do that. <laughs> Challenge what, accepted. Whatever suitcase they issue me, I will paint red with black dots. <laughs> Is that allowed? I don't know. Can you alter your military stuff? They've oh. me out before. I'll do it again. I almost forgot to put our little baggage claim, which is like the coolest like thing about it. Like, I'll do that and then put our brad on and we'll be there. I think that's what that's called, a brad. Yeah, Just well, yeah. Just that in my head for I a like minute. I am not gonna call it anything else. <laughs> like my Brad Pitt pen that you like to say? Brad Pitt pen, it's one of my favorite pens you have. <laughs> yeah, so you, this that pen would be great for journaling on this. Yeah. Okay, my hands are sticky, I gotta get the sticky off so I can manipulate my tag and my stuff here. Oh my gosh, we almost did it here. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up right there. I'm gonna push this through. See that? Nice. Just. Wow. 
Okay. Look at that. Are you ready for this? Swivel. <laughs> we did it, y'all. <laughs> That's so great. I love this project and I had so much fun making it and I hope that you had fun making it too. And I hope that you'll find new ways to leave your fear behind in art making, in your journey in life, whatever that is, if it's a physical journey or emotional or whatever it is, whatever kind of experiences you're going through. Um, I hope that this gives you the opportunity to process that and have a little fun. And um, I hope that you think of new cool things to claim in your journeys ahead. I mean, sometimes talking about these things kind of seems cheesy, but I think it's cool too to kind of just open your mind to new things. Thanks so much for being here and making art with us. And um, we love to see what you made. So if you want to share it on the Facebook group with us, you can do that. It's called Let's Make Art Journals. You can use the hashtag on Instagram if you hang out there. And uh, I can't wait to see what you made. See you next time.